Singrad, un aplauso por favor. So uh, I will be switching to English so that we're all part of the same conversation. So this is anatomy of distribution. The idea here is, uh, well, one may wonder, I had this, I had this thing. Uh, you say distribution, video games, you put it in Steam, and then you distributed the game, right? I mean, so uh, the idea is that he's going to tell you what actual deep, deep distribution is, the places you can go, what you can do, etc. So here is Francis Ingrad, uh, who, by the way, it's his birthday, so everyone's happy. Hey, birthday. happy birthday! Come on, Francis. <laughs> Sing right now, but maybe later, maybe later. Oh, for it, yeah. <laughs> and we'll enjoy everyone. Thank you yeah. so much, Francis. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, first, sorry for my voice. I am a bit sick from, from my birthday. From, I didn't sing anything yet, but uh, I am starting to lose my voice. Um, I think your birthday today. Yes. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so, I will talk today about Plug in Chitol, the company, uh, what we do on the distribution side, and as well, uh, for the second part, we will talk a bit more about uh, publishing stuff um, and what a, a publisher like us uh, looking for. So, Plug in Chitol, uh, I don't know if you, you, you are all familiar with the, the company, it's a 10 years old company, a French company. Uh, my accent. <laughs> um, I, I founded the company in France, in Paris, in uh, 2012. And at start, we only worked on distribution side, and after a few years, we, we started to work on the publishing side as well. Today, we have uh, our main office at Montpellier, in south of France, and as well, we have an office uh, at Shanghai in, in China. We do a few people in China to, especially to manage Chinese stuff and. Uh, South uh, Asian stuff. And now we are 55 people at the company. Some figures about the uh, content we have. Uh, currently, we have more than 2,500 uh, video games in our portfolio on the distribution side, PC and uh, mobile. When I'm talking about mobile, I am mostly talking about Android and HTML5. We have a few games on Apple Store, but most of games for distribution are on uh, HTML5 and Android. As well, we already uh, released more than uh, 90 titles on console, uh, including more than 60 titles on Switch. So we are quite uh, good on, on Nintendo Switch. And as well, we are working uh, a lot on cloud gaming. So right now, we are talking you know, a lot on cloud gaming on the market, but uh, we started to work on cloud gaming 10 years ago. So we are a historical partner of uh, cloud platform. And uh, we have more than 300, sorry, 30 uh, platforms all over the world. We have a short video about what we do on distribution. So just to explain you a bit what we do, of course you create the game, you want to explore more uh, distribution opportunities, outside of Steam, outside of Google Play uh, and others. And we are able, thanks to our platform, to push uh, your content on all kind of platforms, like uh, in South America, we have UN, AWG, etc. Uh, and we, we have a partnership all over the world. We don't sell directly to, to customer. We sell to Sony, to Steam, to Amazon, to Nuvem, to Gamersgate, uh, directly. And as I said, we are working on digital, on cloud gaming, on OEM stuff, um, and uh, we manage all uh, promotion, events, deals, business development for, for you on, uh, on store we, we can manage for you. And the good thing is, we, have, we make one report, one monthly report in one currency, we manage all tax and all, all other uh, boring stuff like this. So, a few, 
two partners we, we have currently, so we are working with uh, Publisha, um, but as well we are working with a lot of indies, like uh, Purple Tree in, uh, in Argentina, um, and in terms of uh, partners and network, we are working with all kinds of platforms, the big one like Microsoft, uh, Google, but as well a lot of local partners like Orange in France, New in Brazil, DMM in Japan, uh, etc. Um, and as well, we are trying to make some specific deals like for uh, Amazon Twitch. Uh, we are quite good to, to, to make specific cooperation for uh, our partners. As well, uh, we have two uh, publishing levels. One is uh, Dear Villagers, the, the other is PID Games. Uh, Dear, Dear Villagers is more our premium uh, publishing level. We are only working on PC console on this level. We are working on pre premium titles. No free to play, no premium. It's only premium on mostly on Steam, PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and, and Xbox. Last year, for instance, we released uh, The Forgotten City. Uh, we had a, a strong success on these games. More recently, we released Soldiers from Spain or Fortel for, for France. And our plan is to release five to six titles uh, a year on this table. And second level, PID Games, is PC, mobile, and console level. We do indie publishing. It means scope of project. Are, are, are different than on Dear Villagers because on Dear Villagers we can invest till 2 million euros for the project uh, for co production because we, we don't take the IP. So we, we, we make co production with the developer and we can invest uh, till 2 million in production. On PID Games we are more uh, looking for uh, investment of 100 to 200k. Um, so the games come is, is a bit different. And we can work both on PC, mobile, or, or console. As well, we are more focused on premium. Uh, even if we do a little bit of free-to-play on mobile, most of uh, our uh, business on PID Games is, uh, is on premium as well. And on PID Games, we do republishing. So what is republishing is, for instance, what we did for Alma from uh, us two, Monument Valley developer. They made a deal with Apple Arcade to, 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 to put the game on Apple Arcade and we port and publish the game on PC and console for them. Uh, because when, when you make an Apple Arcade uh, deal, you have, uh, of course, they are exclusive on mobile, but we have the opportunity to explore business on PC and console. It's what we did for them, and we release the game both on digital and physical uh, on console, and as well on, on digital and PC for, for them. In few words, um, I start my career uh, as an accountant, uh, but uh, uh, after a few, few years I moved to e-commerce website named Black Orange. Alapage.com is uh, one of the main competitors of Amazon in France. And then I moved to digital to Nextway and plug in digital, so it means I'm working on digital distribution, download, etc. for 15 years now. So, yeah, that's why Plug Digital uh, has a strong experience on this uh, kind of business. And as well, I was uh, vice president of uh, French video game syndicate for, for six years. I was the chairman of the international staff. Uh, I, I think it's important to talk about some value we, we have. Um, I think it, on distribution side, uh, and even on publishing sometimes, uh, simplicity is a, is a key point. Uh, the market is very, very complicated, a lot of rules, a lot of currencies, a lot of tax, uh, you, you have to manage a lot of things. And at the start of the company, uh, for me it was important to make something very simple for uh, our partners, for reports, etc. And, um, and as well, my, my plan was not to, to, to establish a brand, my, my, my plan was, was more to study the market and to follow uh, the market. And it's very important in video games business because the video games market is, is moving all the time. Um, so you can say, okay, my positioning is like this and let's wait. You have to move, to move and, to, and to change your positioning all the time. Often people ask me how we, we get a success in, in a company. So to be honest, first we, need, we all need a, a bit of luck. 
Um, because sometimes you, you make good stuff, it doesn't work for the why. Sometimes you, you meet the right people at the right time and, and it works. So luck is part of a, of a success for sure. And the timing is, is the key point. Um, before I talked about cloud gaming, uh, 10 years ago we signed cloud gaming deals with a company like Online, Gaikai, uh, G-Cluster, etc. They are all dead today because they were um, too in advance on the market. Potential was here, it is here now, but when they start 10 years ago, it was not the right time. Uh, if they start only five years ago, then uh, it will work well. So I think timing is very essential and it's crucial in, in, uh, in all kind of business. And on the digital side, we, we started to work on distribution 10 years ago. 10 years ago, it's the moment where Steam started to be big and started to open the platform. Because, I don't know if you, if you know, but before it was really hard to put a game on Steam. And Eight, nine years ago, they started to open the platform to more publishers, to more developers, and then it allowed us to, to, to develop our distribution business. Uh, because we can do, uh, it's really hard to make distribution business if you don't have uh, Steam keys. Uh, <coughs> sorry. I think it's very important to follow your intent. It's your company, it's your uh, wishes. So uh, you have to, to do what you think is, is good to do. Um, uh, compromise are good, but uh, not too often, I think. Um, and of course, implementation of, of tools uh, is, is a key point. Uh, because if you, start, if you are starting to, to hire too, too, too many people, it's really hard uh, at the end. So in resume, but I, if I can give you some advice about this, I think you have to start and to follow your, your ideas. You have to, 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 to check with your client. For instance, if you, you pitch a game to, to publisher, you have to listen to what they say, because all developers think their game is the best of the world. It's normal. Um, but it's important to, to earn and to see, okay, uh, this is interesting, okay, I have to change maybe some stuff. And, uh, then get back to, to, to the publisher. And of course, you, you, you have to be able to adapt your model. For instance, if you want to go on premium and you, you, you want to, uh, and a publisher to tell, to tell, tell you, okay, make um, advertising or for profit to play, you, you have to be able to, to listen what they, what they say. Um, uh, it's about it's true for, for plugin, uh, and the part of the success of the company is as well uh, uh, the fact of, financially speaking, we receive money before uh, to pay our uh, content owner. So thanks to that, we always had money um, to, 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 to grow and to, to develop our, our company. Um, a quarter of company closed because they, they have a lack of, of cash. Um, so, we have a fabulous situation, uh, cash is key, but I really think it's true. It's very important to, to have a, a bit of cash to, 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 end, to, to, to move on, because it's a very important source of, of stress, of course. In resume, um, 10 years of company is a, is a long sprint. Uh, we move uh, five times. Uh, we signed uh, 600 uh, partnerships with uh, stores or publishers or studios. We hired more than 40 people. Um, we had to manage around 55% of growth uh, every year. And the result of everything is uh, we, we, we were able to raise 75 million uh, end of last year to continue to accelerate, to invest in studio, to invest in, uh, in product, and as well to make some uh, acquisition, because our plan is to buy some, uh, some studio. Right now, we want to do marketing and distribution, and part of our strategy in the future is to, is to buy from, uh, some studio to have uh, our own production. <coughs> now, I, I would like to talk about publishing. Um, First, I guess you know, but it's good to recall what we, what we need. Um, when you want to talk to a publisher, you, you, you need to have a pitch deck. 
uh, not too long, uh, a pitch deck, uh, a good pitch deck would be 12 to 15 slides maximum. Um, you, you need to be precise in your, in your presentation um, and to say, okay, I want uh, to find a publisher, I need this money, this amount of money, I need this time to make the game. Sometimes I will receive pitch and say, okay, uh, how much money you, you can give us? No, a project <laughs> is a cost uh, and, and is a time. So after, it's of course always possible to discuss uh, and we are here to challenge. Uh, sometimes, but when I'm talking about challenging, sometimes we put more money than what a developer asks because our estimation is not the same. And sometimes we, we can put less money. So. Um, it's part of publisher role to, to, to help uh, on this, but we need to, to understand what the studio needs, uh, how many times they need to develop the game, etc. And then, uh, of course, you can submit your game on website. All publishers have a, have a website to, 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 to submit your game. Or the best, of course, is to meet a publisher during a trade show events. Uh, it's, of course, always better to make a face-to-face -face pitch. About a, publish a publisher is not a bank, even if we, we do the, this job a bit. Um, for me, the, the role of, of a publisher, of course, is to bring money to the table. Um, but the, the crucial point is production, follow up. Uh, I think that the main role uh, of a publisher is to help develop uh, during the production process, to, uh, on production side, on QA, on playtesting, etc. For instance, in our process, we do playtest at different phases, alpha, beta, and final version. We ask to uh, journalists to test the game and to play the game in US, in China, and in Europe, to have different uh, feedback, uh, professional feedback, to see how the game is, the game is fun, what is good, what is not good, etc. And the idea is not to say to the developer, okay, you have to do this. The idea is just to say, okay, we can do better in changing this, 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 and we think it's very, it's, sometimes it's hard to understand for a developer, but I think it's a key point to have a good game. Because when you develop your game, you are so focused on the game, it's really good to have an external uh, point of view. <coughs> so, for a publisher, we are here to help you to Schedule uh, your, your development. Um, for instance, before to sign a, a deal, um, developer have a call with uh, our lead uh, producer to uh, to help him to uh, to help them. Sorry, to uh, put in place a, a, a production schedule, milestone, etc., etc. Uh, again, all must be comfortable with uh, with that. We are here to help, so as I said, we have internal skills, we have external partners, uh, and we are here to help on all uh, stuff like policing, QA, localization, etc. Et and what is very important, we are here to test the game at each milestone. We are testing the game, we give feedback to the developer to try to have the best game, uh, the best possible game. And we do as well playtest. Uh, we have sometimes 10, 20 people playtesting the game to, to, to have a more amateur feedback. <coughs> After production, what we do is more market on marketing side, product management. Um, so we have a dedicated product manager for each game, so on, on their villagers. Uh, he's in charge of marketing plan, uh, developer relationship. Um, and he is here to coordinate everything. We do PR, of course. We do influential uh, relationship to, to, to promote it, to push the game. We do events. Uh, depend, events, it's more complicated right now with COVID, etc. But uh, we are still doing events, digital events, or sometimes physical events when it's possible. And the most important, we do community events because you know it's a key point. So we have uh, two people internally uh, very focused on uh, community development. We are using a lot of Twitter uh, for, for that, 
we do some stuff on, on, on Facebook and all, but uh, Discord and Twitter are our key, our key uh, tools to develop community. <coughs> um, we, have a we have dedicated people to, to sourcing. We have two people uh, uh, dedicated to that. Um, the first one is William and the second one is Matthew. Um, their, their role is to talk with you, to test the game, to play, to, to discuss with you, to, say, to, to, to check if the game could, could work. Um, it's important to say we play to all the games we receive. We receive a lot of games, but we take the time to play to all games we receive. Um, when it's possible to play, because sometimes. Um, but uh, I think it's very relevant and it's, it's part of respect to, to the people. Um, of course, sometimes we, we, we can refuse game because we don't have time. We don't have uh, the interest of the game. It's not in our editorial uh, line. Um, sometimes timing is not good, but uh, we are trying to be uh, to be smart and to, to keep an eye on, on all studio. Maybe it's not good for this game. Maybe it will be good for the next one. For the next one. <coughs> so what I said uh, yesterday. Um, we have to refuse a lot of games, so it means we sign less than one percent of uh, games proposal we receive. So it's, yes, it's hard. It's hard that we have no choice. We are trying to play to all games, as I said, um, but we can't release uh, on publishing side one game a week. So we have to make choice, uh, and we have to find the, the, the best uh, game for, uh, for for us. And yes, we receive a lot of games uh, every week. Uh, and when we, we do uh, trade events, we see a uh, lot of, lot of projects. What is a, a pitch deck? So it's very important to have a solid pitch deck to be clear about your game uh, uh, and to, to be precise. So as I said, 10, 10 12, 15 maximum uh, slide is, is enough. We need a synopsis, uh, we need information about the team because when we sign a, a, a deal, we sign for the game and we sign for the team. A fit with the, with the team is a key point for us because a publishing deal is uh, 8 to 10 years, so it's long, it's more than a wedding because you can't keep us. <laughs> so you, you have no plan B. Um, so for us, it's very important to understand. Uh, who are the developers, the main developers of, of the studio, and if they have a background, what they did before, etc. Um, as I said, a budget with all details you, you, you may have. If you are not very good to make a budget, it's not a problem. Just put your number and uh, we can help on this. But more we have, better it is. Key point, game the loop, USPs, because lots of competition in video games business, so we need it. We need to understand what are uh, game uh, USP, USPs. What is USP? It's a unique sales point. Ah, unique selling point. Nice. It, it, it means what is different in your games compared to other games on the market. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. Because if you if you make a, a game, it's a copy paste of Call of Duty, but with a, uh, with a different budget, you can do anything on the market. If you, you make a, a FPS with some good USPs, then you have a, a lot of the market. Um, inspiration, because of course it makes sense to, to be inspired by, by, by some title, so it's good to understand what, what uh, is your inspiration. And if it's possible, it's a big plus, a prototype, a vertical slide, something playable, because it's video games, so uh, anything we can play is great. If you don't have it, at least a video could work, of course. <coughs> so, some analysis. Um, because we receive a lot of uh, presentation, please take care of presentation. Um, a, a clean one, quite beautiful, because video games is an art, so uh, we, we like to, to, to see that nice presentation. Um, so please uh, spend the time on, on this. Uh, be short, as I said, 10, 12, 15 slides maximum. 
uh, not big PDF because sometimes we receive four, five, six gigabyte PDF. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What yeah, because, because they, they put video uh, or, or art inside, and you know, sometimes it's too big. So I don't see the point, but sometimes it happens. Um, and yes, picture of the team, the game, screenshot, artworks, uh, everything you can share is a plus. So even if you have a lot of nice screenshot, and you, you say, okay, but at this, at this count, I will have 20 slides, it's not a problem, because if you have only 10 slides of text and 10 slides of screenshot, it's okay, of course. And William, our social manager, always says that, be yourself. We, we fit is a key point, so um, don't play. Just be yourself, define your, your project, and, and we will see what, what happens. Thank you very much. Yes. Do you have uh, any question on publishing side or on distribution side? Yes. Aside from uh, so first, first, <laughs> to you. Um, uh, yeah. you Hello. Uh, I have a question about um, what kind of uh, when you are selecting the game, uh, what is important to you? The art style, the art style, the, the theme, or the, the is like the uh, is it a tower defense or strategy game or space game or chess games or or the age of the audience? What do you what do you? Alors, uh, the genre is important because we don't do some 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 games. We don't do racing games. We don't do sport. We don't do uh, MMO RPG. So. Exactly, exactly. If you pitch a racing game, we will say no because it's not part of what we do. Because we think we are not good on marketing on, on this kind of games. But after that, we are looking for everything. The, the team, uh, of course, and the fit with the team. Um, even if it's a student, okay, it's not a problem. Uh, we, we sign with a piece of student game. Uh, so we don't necessarily need experience. We, we need just to, uh, to trust in, in, the, in the team. Um, but what key points are more game design, that's why we need a prototype, and graphics side. For me, graphics is part of USB. Because when you put a game on a store, PlayStation Store, Steam, etc., what people see? Yeah, the box. <laughs> so, it's, uh, if you want to make good marketing, you need to have good assets. That's why, for instance, we, we spend a lot of money in assets before game release. It helps a lot. Too. And to convert. Uh, mm. Yes. yes. Uh, I have two questions. The first one is what do you consider as a success in a game that you make a deal? So if you sign a, a contract with a, with a game developer, you, you have a number in mind, or do you, it depends on the, on the kind of the game? that you can consider a success. And the second one is, for the ones that you really publish in a given year, like you said that you publish five to 10 games in a, in a year, how many of them are uh, get the success in the market if you have this number, of course? Good question. So, um, in general, a publisher is looking to make three times the investment. If you invest one million in the game, we hope to get three million revenue. It's good number. Below, it's okay. More than that, it's very good. Okay, so three, four times, it's quite common in the in the business for a publisher. Um, of course, for a publisher, sometimes we we will see some games and we know we won't do three times, four times, but we want this game in our portfolio because the game is very unique. Uh, maybe too, too niche to make a lot of money, but very unique, so good for the brand, for the Avengers brand, etc. So it, it could happen. So it's not only a matter of money, it could be a matter of uh, marketing, uh, brand communication, etc. Et um, and of 
course, we, we may have good surprise. Of course. Um, so, <coughs> for, so, 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 one question was about. Uh, yeah, if you have the numbers for, for the yeah. ones that you release it, how many of them really get the. Alors, it depends on, on dear villagers. On dear villagers, we publish five, six titles a year, and we have three, three are good. Uh, when I'm saying good, it means we recoup our investment within three months after release. For me too. We have one average and two more difficult. So it means around 50% of games we sign are not working very, very well. And it's the case for all publishers. For instance, if you are to take Devolver, very famous, they are very good in communication and marketing because you have the feeling all games are a success, but not at all. If you check all games they release, you will see they have huge success, but as well, a lot of games uh, are not working. It's, unfortunately, it's part of the, of the game. Uh, so. And on PID games, it's different because we invest less money. So we, we have 75% of games uh, working correctly because we take less risk. Uh, on PID games, investment is not the same. So, of course, when we have to recoup 100k or 1 million, it is not the same. So, it depends on game scope. <coughs> I'm going to ask a question myself. Um, you talked a lot about culture fit uh, between you and the developers, and that it the, the developers are as important as, as the game, in a sense. And without getting too maybe too political or too moral or whatever, but w what are your values? What, what are you? What could you say in a few words that you're looking for in, in a developer? Uh, for, for us, it's a it's a very it's a partnership. A developer is a, it's not a client or it's a partner. So our value is, our main value is that is we are looking for a partner because our goal is to sign the first game with the developer and. If we can sign the second one with uh, the developer, for instance, sometimes we, we, we have made the, the first game with the developer, it was good, even if the game was not a good success, we signed the second one without prototype. Because we are partners, we trust, we trust them, so we, we signed the second game quite automatically. Um, so for, for me, it's part of our, uh, of our main value. Uh, it's business, of course, but it's not only business. It's, uh, it's partnership, it's uh, trust, it's matter of trust. Because in the video games business is really, really hard. And all must be at 100, 120 or 150 percent. And to, to ask the developer to be at 150 percent, they need to be really confident in, in, in publisher. And us, we need to be confident in developer. Thank you very much. <coughs> Does anyone else have a, a question? I don't. Okay. Okay, again. Um, can you talk about the uh, uh, the whole process uh, from uh, when someone sends you an email like, with with the, with the pitch um, <clears throat> and likes the, the experience of the of the success game, like uh, from when I send the or, or the developer send the email and and what happened then? The the, the meetings with the people I'm going to or, or, or the developers are going to know about. Um, on, on that process. Sure, sure, it's a good question. Alors, when we receive an email, you have to, to fill some uh, form on, on yes. the website, of course, and to, to add your, your pitch deck, etc. We have William in our team, he is getting it, um, he played to it. So it means we need three to six weeks for this, because we receive a lot of. Yes. So don't be surprised to not have a response after three days. It's not possible. <laughs> it's really not possible. Um, so we need, let's say, one month to play the game, to check if the game could be nice or for us, could work, etc. If we think it could work, then we we have a Trello. You know Trello? We have a, a Trello. We put the game in a Trello, and then we have a, a editorial uh, editorial committee playing to the game as well. So we have seven to eight people in the company, to the marketing team, to sales team, to accounting team. Mm -hmm. Anyone can play to the game to test it and, and to put the comments to have more feedback than only uh, sourcing manager feedback. And if global feedback are quite good, then we are starting to talk 
with the data. So that's why we, most of the time you have a long silence uh, after email sending because we take the time to play with and to ask to, to, to more people to play. It's not one guy decision, it's 10 people decision. Uh, to say, okay, it's interesting to talk with them. And after, depend on the talk, depend on the feed, etc., and the information we, we get, then we can discuss about the contract, etc. Nice. But we, are, we really have two phases. Nice. I have a question, actually. You mentioned that, um, well, of course, you receive uh, lots of games uh, per week, but um, you also mentioned that you do, <coughs> you are always doing, as a company, some scouting. So how does how is this scouting organized? Do you organize it by uh, markets? Like, we, you, do you have a team from scouting in Europe, one from China, or whatever are the markets you are trying to? And also, if you have a scouting <coughs> team from Latin America, and how is that code? Yeah, um, no, we 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 do specific scouting for China because China is China. <laughs> um, but for the rest, all people are based in France. But we do a lot of events. Um, so, this is, it, I think it's important to have the same people uh, doing scouting because you need to have a global view of all games. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think it's very good to have people by regions or anything. Because we don't care to sign an Argentine based uh, studio or Mexican based or French based. It's not a problem for us. So, this is the same team uh, moving to events all over. All over all over the year, in Canada, in the US, in South America, in Europe, etc. I have one question. <clears throat> uh, what, what do the, the developers need uh, legally? Like, uh, do I need to have a company or something like that? Or is, uh, what, what kind of, of contract is like? Is Hello. You will need to have a company to invoice us. Hmm. Because in France, uh, legally speaking, I can't pay you if you are just a guy. Okay? You, need, you need to be a company. Uh, but you, you can be a sole entrepreneur or something. It's not a problem. But during all negotiation phase, contract phase, we don't need a company. Um, but to pay you, yes, we, we, you will need. But I don't think it will be a problem because... Uh, mm -hmm. But for, for example, uh, uh, and, and you, as a, as a publisher, uh, give the service of um, economic like advice uh, because maybe um, create a company here in Argentina is not good for me because the exchange of the money and the very subtle things. Uh, and do, do you have do you have like uh, professionals who, who give advice to the developers in, in that matter of? of Things. Yeah, we, we have some contact if you want to create a company in the US, for instance, uh, in Delaware, or I don't know where. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, of course, we can give advice. It, it, it's personal, it's your choice. But uh, if you need help on this, definitely we can give you uh, some contact. Um, and indeed, sometimes it happens. We send a, with a developer and they, they, they create a company in, in another country. So, of course, it's possible. For instance, we, we, we signed a few, few months ago a Cuban uh, studio, so based at uh, Havana, so, and the company is registered in the US. Nice. Because, of course, in Cuba, it's not easy. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, not a problem. No, thanks. <coughs> no. Thank you very much.